Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. Today, there's actually a lot to get into. The Zorora event has ended and along with it, all of the people who have participated in some way or another with Pokemon Home have been able to receive the shiny Zorora, including me. So I actually have it um, in our box. We're gonna be checking that out. Along with it, I took that time to explore more of how uh, the Pokemon Home on mobile works because you can't do it on the Switch version. You can only do it on the mobile version. So I linked everything up, and I also got a couple of other free things. They let you pick one of three of the original starters, which I chose Squirtle, because that's the only one I didn't have in this game. Um, and on top of that, they give you one of each of the Galar starters. So it gave me a Score Bunny, Grookey, and Sobble. So I also transferred those over. So there's a lot, actually a lot to do today. So here's our shiny Zorora, if we take a look at the summary right here. You can tell it's shiny. Um, typically it has, um, if you, you see with the icon here, like a yellow, blue, and black. But the shiny version is white uh, and like a more of a turquoise and a yellow and a little bit of black accent, something like that. Pretty cool, and it, it's already level 100. It's in a pretty cool little red ball. Um, I like it, and it has plasma fists, close combat, blaze kick, and outrage. Uh, this is cool. This Pokemon is pretty hasty by nature. I like it. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this out. We're gonna have this on our team as well as a couple of other Pokemon. So let's move this over just like that. And I will be also spending a lot of today's episode leveling up our Sobble, our Squirtle, and our Grookey so that we can have episodes checking out their Gigantamax forms as well. That'll be fun. And we do have room for one more Pokemon if we wanna check something out. Not really sure what else we need to get. So <laughs> I might have to look into it. Maybe we could just keep it like this for now and that should be fine. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure we have most other things sort of figured out. Um, but yeah, we're really getting closer and closer to you know finishing the Pokedex. Before we go too much farther though, now that I have Sobble and Grookey in my thing, will they show up in my Pokedex? Uh, let's go all the way back up here. I really hope so. Yes, they do, that's exciting. Um, but I do not think that uh, Squirtle is the same way. So if we, oh, there it was. Here's, oh no, it is showing up that way. Okay, so maybe they fixed that. That's good, because they used to have this issue where if you transfer things over from Pokemon Home, it doesn't count. Uh, but it looks like it counts now. So we'll be able to get at least a good couple of additions to our Pokedex just that way, so I'm really looking forward to that. I think that in an upcoming episode as well, we'll be doing some trades, um, just with my other Nintendo Switch, so that we can get some of the other Pokemon that only evolve through trading. But hey, for right now, I do want to sort of battle with Zorora and see how that works and just enjoy this Pokemon because I think that they, they aren't our first slotted Pokemon for right now. So we're just going to sw swap, swap that over like that. And Zora should follow us around. So here's the legendary Zora, almost as tall as we are. <laughs> Very cute. And yeah, we'll just go on some battles. If it is, you know, an electric type, we should be fine with going into the water and stuff. Doesn't matter either which way because it's a level 100. So we should be able to handle quite a lot of stuff. And we might as well also get some extra wattage, extra watt energy, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, lots of cool things to do still in the game. Uh, if we can get some Dynamax battles done with Sorora and with some other Pokemon today, that would be great so that we can get more Max Mushrooms spawning in. I don't think that Zorora has a Gigantamax form, but obviously Blastoise does, Sobble and Grookey also will once they evolve. So working on that's gonna be a pretty big deal. Oh boy, what was that? I don't know. I guess maybe that's the little thing it does when it's shiny, because every Pokemon has a shiny version. Shiny versions of Pokemon are so rare that in the 40 episodes of Sword and Shield and the 14 episodes now of Isle of Armor, we haven't run into a single one at all. So like that's how rare they are. Either way, we'll try the Plasma Fist here because obviously it has a good range of moves, which is cool. I don't know if you would be able to use this Pokemon like in a competitive battle against other people, but just for you know playing the game, it's very very useful. So there we go, Wingle fainted, one hit takedown as expected. It's a 40 uh, level advantage. I probably wanna go ahead and use some candy with that, but wow. Okay, so they're all level 16 now. That was actually really, really productive. Sobble learned Water Gun and Bind, and wants to learn Water Pulse. So let's go ahead and figure this out, because we do wanna make sure that they have good moves. I don't think they need Pound. So there we go. And now Squirtle is also gonna level up a couple of times. Um, Squirtle grew to level 16. Learned Withdraw, Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin is a normal type move. A spin attack that can also eliminate moves, uh, such such moves as Bind, Wrap, and Leech Seed. This also raises the user's speed stat. I'll put that over Tail Whip. Actually, it, it doesn't really matter. I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be going over all of that soon. Uh, so there we go. And then also Bite, which is a dark type move, right? So we'll put that over Tackle. That might be at least a little bit better. And then also Grookey. 
learned some. Actually, no, you still want to learn Water Pulse. So Squirtle's learning a lot of moves here. Water Pulse is 60 damage, Water Gun is 40. We'll put Overtail up though, <laughs> just for now. And then Grookey down this way grew to level 16. I'm sure Grookey, yeah, learns Branch Poke, Taunt, Razor Leaf. Definitely learn Razor Leaf. That is a pretty good grass type move, 55 damage. Put it over Scratch, we don't need Scratch. And there we go. Anything else that it wants to learn? Nope, there we go. So there's all the level ups for those two Pokemon. I don't, oh, and they're also evolving. <laughs> so there's a lot going on right now. Sobble's evolving. But this is why it's super good to get all this done. It's very productive, of course. And this is all just off of defeating one Wingle. So Sobble turns into Drizzile. Awesome. And then I'm guessing that also means that at the least Grookey's gonna evolve. Um, Drizzile, a water lizard Pokemon, water type. Highly intelligent, but also very lazy. It keeps enemies out of its territory by laying traps everywhere. Cool. And then Squirtle's also evolving. I didn't know uh, what level they would, if it was gonna be the same thing. We have Squirtle, of course, will evolve into... Wartortle. I always forget his name, and then I see him, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's Wartortle. Uh, so there we go, Wartortle also added to the Pokedex here. It is a turtle Pokemon, water type. It cleverly controls its furry ears and tail to maintain its balance while swimming. And then finally, Grookey is also gonna evolve, so we're making some good progress so far today. So with Grookey, this is of course the second evolution. Or, I mean, it's not the second time it's evolving, but it's evolving into its second form. Grookey evolved into Thwacky. Thwacky is so cute. Thwacky is a beat Pokemon grass type. When it's drumming out rapid beats in battle, it gets so caught up in the rhythm that it won't even notice that it's already knocked out its opponents. Oh my. Oh, now you wanna learn another move. This time you wanna learn double hit. Sure. Um. Well, double hit is, the user slams the target with its long tail, vines, or a tentacle, the target will hit twice in a row. I don't think we need that over these moves, so we're actually going to take a pass on that. Okay. And instead, I might as well also do this Dynamax battle that's over here. If it's against a water type, I'll use Azurora. Oh yeah, it's Mantine. So actually, that's really good. I do probably wanna go ahead and toss some candy over to uh, Azurora here just because I don't know how much, we'll probably be battling with them a good chunk here. At least a little bit. Um, so where is our Dynamax candy? Because we still have a lot of it, like more than we need for the most part, because a lot of our main Pokemon are actually all topped out when it comes to that. So where is, am I going the wrong way around? I guess so. <laughs> I forgot that I had it alphabetical, so. Where is the Dynamax candy? Here it is. We have 23 of it for Zorora. It won't have any effect. Okay, so they're already maxed out. Never mind then. Wow. Cool. So never mind. We should be good. Uh and don't invite others. We should be able to handle this no problem. So shiny Zorora in a Dynamax battle against something it should have a huge advantage against. For sure. But yeah, be sure to let me know. Wait a minute, is this shiny? No, okay. It looked almost like white and gray instead of white and blue for a second. But I don't think that's quite what it is. And you can see it still does that shiny little twinkle to it. Uh, so let's fight. We'll Dynamax and just do Max Lightning. So yeah, it's not a G-Max move. It looks so cool. So yeah, like I was saying before, definitely let me know your thoughts on Zorora. Have you been able to get it yourself uh, through the event? Were you able to battle Zorora? Unlike me, I tried. You guys saw, I honestly tried to find a Zorora battle and I just couldn't, but I'm sure there's still more to do here, you know, in the game and we'll, we'll experience that. Hopefully there's more events like this in the future. It's been a lot of fun. Anyways, as you can see, we're using Max Lightning now. Boom. Wow, that did not do much, which means they're probably setting up their shield right now because it's super effective, both for the water and the flying. So I think their shield is just getting set up now, is the thing. So lots of electric across the battlefield. Yeah, they get desperate and set up their shield. Okay. Five pieces here. Hopefully everybody else can work on it. Fire Lash isn't gonna do much, but as long as it destroys a piece of the shield, that's all that matters. Max Geyser against who? Against us? Nope, against Mud Mudbray, right? Which is more of a problem because that's obviously gonna take them out. And now it's raining. Water Pulse against you. Okay, against us. That's much better. We can handle that. So Mudbray used Rock Tomb. That's gonna break more, but it's super effective, it's great. So we're going again. 
Oh, but we're confused? Oh, that's bad timing. Can we still hit this though? Yes, we can. So I'll destroy two more pieces of the shield and also do some major damage to Mantine. That's much better. And now you're gonna use Fire Lash, which once again, won't do much damage, but it'll break that shield, making Mantine weaker, lowering its health even more. So now it's about halfway down, or almost. Now they're using Max Geyser, probably against the Mud Spray again. Oh no, against Wobbuffet. But they're able to handle that a lot better. Oh no. Oh, nobody's gotten taken out yet, but it's been close. This Rock Tomb, oh, doing some good damage now. I'm guessing they're gonna be setting up their shield though. Yep, there they go. So I guess for our last attack here as we're Dynamaxed, it'll at least do two more points to that shield. Mirror Code, interesting. So let's fight, Max Lightning, one more time. I know they're confused, but if the Zoror can just throw out this attack, that'd be great. Oh no, it did hurt, it hurt itself in confusion. I didn't know if it would be immune to that in Dynamax. So that was a waste of the last Dynamax move. Sort of a shame, but that's fine. We'll just keep at it. Now will fight all the changes in abilities to other Pokemon. Wouldn't that mean that we're no longer confused? I would hope so, but I guess we'll find out. Wobbuffet well, uses Safeguard. Oh, with everybody. Okay, see, so yeah, now we're shrinking back down. I think it's fine, we don't really need um, the Dynamax to finish you off, it was just useful to have. Okay, so we snapped out of confusion, gonna break, oh no, not quite break your shield, but almost. Now if everybody else just keeps attacking, we should be able to get a win here maybe, I don't know. Ah, oh, not quite, come on, keep out everybody. Hydro Pump. Oh, on Mud Spray. But now, now Mud Spray is taken out, or Mud Bray. I don't know why I think there's an S in their name. Okay, come on, just one more hit. Anybody can throw it out. Mirror Coat. Uh, it didn't work. Come on, come on, come on. This is it. Final blow right here. Plasma Fists. Awesome stuff. So, yes, yeah, Zorora is a really cool Pokemon. We'll keep using them throughout different Dynamax battles today and also continually level up our other starter Pokemon we have. So, I'm not going to catch you. We already have one. And we get some decent stuff here. Experience candies, Dynamax candies, Armorite Ore, Waterfall Surf, Money Water, Hydro Pump. Seems pretty good to me. So with that done, let's head back out. I'll, I'll try to head towards other Dynamax battles and really keep out. We might as well just take another wing goal in one hit. <laughs> if it's here, it gave, I don't know what level they were before. Were they just level one before? And they jumped up to level 16? Or maybe they're like level three. Here we go. But yeah, I'm glad that we got so much free stuff out of just signing up for the mobile version of Pokemon Home. I definitely suggest that if you're looking for more of the starters. I just had no clue that was a thing. And that makes everything so much easier because now I don't have to start up like a different save file on you know, a different version of the game and like trade it over. I might still have to do that for some of the Pokemon Sword exclusive Pokemon. Maybe I can find a way to trade them through Pokemon Home, something like that, I don't really know. But anyways, that's gonna get everybody to level 19. This is where it's gonna be a bit more of a grind, but Tearful Look is a normal type move that I don't think Drizzile needs. Uh, War Turtle grew to level 19, Thwacky grew to level 19, and wants to learn to move Screech. I don't think we need Screech either. Okay. So, keep it going. Whatever other Pokemon we have to defeat as we move over to the next thing. Because there's no... Um, Dynamax battles over that way, but right over here. Oh, and there's the super extra one over that way. So definitely we'll work on that a little bit. There's another Mantine if we needed one. Luckily we don't. And I don't really mind too much if we run into this guy. I mean, I sort of do, because if we run out of health, or at least we go lower on health, that'd be a problem. So let me first try this. Just like that. Ooh, okay, Poison Dark. Um, I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't be good against what we have. Poison Dark isn't good against Electric. Um, so we could just try it. Sure, at the least we can use our Dragon type move. So don't invite others, we'll just go in with this and we'll see how it works out. I think it'll be fine. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. This is uh, Drapion, the evolution of Scruppy, which uh, Scruppy is a very memorable name for me. So I just, I always know that one. It's interesting how its tail is like, I guess it's not really even a tail, it's like higher up on its back. It's a very cool design. I mean, I mean for uh, Zoror, not not Drapion. Uh, let's fight. We're just gonna immediately do, so none of this is super effective, so let's try Max Wormwind. So yeah, won't be able to take advantage that way, but I think that's fine. 
it's it's not super effective, but it's not not very effective, you know. So the fact that um, Zorora here is a very powerful Pokemon, I think will balance things out. But we should probably use some lightning moves a little bit more because I think that'll be same type attack damage. Okay, but we'll try this for now. I just want to see what it looks like because I don't know if we've ever used this move before. Wow, that was actually really good though. So maybe we'll keep with this. I'm sure your shield's going to get set up now, but that was not bad. Stomping tantrum. I guess not the shield yet. Sort of wish it would because, yeah, it would have broken down more of their health, but I mean, just other people would have gotten to it sooner. There we go. And I think. Okay, they're doing max ooze. I think one more Pokemon can still attack, so hopefully they're able to. And then we can get rid of the rest of the shield. But we're all doing really well so far. Cross poison on that Pokemon. Not very effective. Torkoal's using Flamethrower. Let's fight. And we're just gonna do max lightning this time. This should break the shield, maybe do some extra damage on top of that. Not very much, maybe I should keep with the uh, Dragon type move. Either way, shield is broken. Not too bad at all. Stomping Tantrum going out here. Wow, that was good. Super effective. And now they're using Max Darkness. I think that it's too little too late. We'll be able to win this as a team. Okay, now they're using Cross Poison. And Rock Polish, you could've just attacked and won. <laughs> I don't know why you're being so silly. There we go, Flamethrower, boom, we win. So that was actually a really easy battle. Glad we could've gotten that out of the way. Of course, we get more free stuff out of it. But more than anything, we're getting more Max Mushrooms. Uh, hopefully spawning in across the game. Uh, that's really what we're mostly looking for. We got some more candies out of that one too. But for right now, I think the most productive thing when it comes to traveling is going to be going up here. Yep, yep, yep. And if we run into a couple of people we can battle on the way, that'd probably be good. It's like if there's anybody in the tall grass or anything. And also grab some extra wattage. Watt wattages. Watts. <laughs> Something like that. Like, wh who's in here? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Oh, it's a little slanted. That's cute. See, so yeah, with this one, what do we wanna do? I think we'll fight. This one's effective. Yeah, we're not really looking to catch him, so if we could just take him out and, and as close to one hit as possible. This is such a cool looking move, too. Boom. And it's a one hit takedown. That's all we wanted. So that'll be extra experience for everybody. That's nice to see. 21 now. Because I think they need to be like, what, level 30 something to uh, evolve? Protect. I don't think we need protect. And then also Thwacky to level 21. I love how they're all leveling up the same amount each time. They're all together. So what's over this way too? Oh, it's a little uh, blip bug. Pretty easy to deal with this. But this blip bug is a little different too. I don't know. Maybe it's just, I think it's the lighting. I can never tell. <laughs> okay, well. Just gonna take you down no problem. And there we go. So put Bug Fainted. Hopefully some extra decent experience. Yep, level 22. So now they're only getting like a level two or two at a time. Not too much from it, but hey, still worth, you know, making progress with. Oh, so what do we got here? And I think we'll go another Blip Bug. We'll go for that one uh, flying Pokemon that was over there because it's another easy takedown. Then I think we'll go for the Dynamax battle. I mean, it might be a Gigantamax. That's the purple light out of it. So we'll have to wait and see. The Plasma Fist again. Very cool move though. I'm really happy that we got an amazing free Pokemon, really. Blip Bug faints. And they'll get the level 23. And they're more than halfway through level 23, so if we were to do this again, they'd probably get another level up. Yeah, not quite evolving just yet. So let's call you over if we can. Yep, oh no, you might just come over all by yourself. I always forget the button that's calling people over. There we go. There we go. So this should be a pretty easy one-hit takedown against Mandibuzz. It's a flying type, 
So Zoror should be able to just do some lightning moves, make it real easy for everybody. Okay. Sorry if we're getting a little tired of seeing this move. But just like Jazzy, you know, being level 100, experience obviously isn't gonna do very much for it, but it's a great way to get experience for our other Pokemon. So there we go, level 26 for this one. Wow, okay. Um, so that jumped them up quite a few. Really happy to see that. Um, Drizzle wants to learn to move Sucker Punch. Now Sucker Punch is probably Dark type, yeah. Um, this move enables you the user to attack first. This move fails that the target is not ready to attack. I guess it might be better than like Growl. And what about the other two? Will they learn any moves here? Probably, maybe. War Turtle goes to level 26. Rain Dance. Um, any kind of water move. Probably a good idea. So Rain Dance, the user summons a heavy rain that falls for five turns, powering boulder type moves. It lowers the power of fire type moves. I don't know if I'll need that too much then. Um, well, maybe better than Withdrawal. The user withdraws his body into a hard shell, raising his, yeah, you know what, sure. Let's just do that little trade right there. And we'll see if Thwacky got any new moves as well. Probably following with the trend of it. Uh, knockoff, forget an old move. So for Knockoff, that's a dark type move. The user slaps on the target's held item, and that item can't be used in that battle. The move does more damage if the target has a held item. Probably better than Taunt. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do that. And there we go, all sorts of moves for starter Pokemon, I've noticed. Like a lot of starter Pokemon just get a bunch of moves as they level up. I do wanna check though, I haven't really checked this yet. Can I see their summary from here? I can't. No, yes I can, it was right there. Um, I don't think any of these Pokemon are yeah, Gigantamax ready. That's fine, that's sort of what I expected, but good to make sure. I will, of course, be trying to get Max Mushrooms so that we can do exactly just that. Um, ooh. We already have you, right? But we don't see you walking around too often. Actually, I don't know if we have this specific form of Lycanroc. This might be the Dusk version, not the Nighttime version. We should probably just catch it just in case. Um, so yeah, I'll just throw out a quick ball like that. Because you never know, right? <laughs> Our first attempt at catching a Pokemon today. How will it go? Please just catch. Ah, oh, come on. Darn. So they're gonna use Crunch. Doesn't do much. So we wanna use something that's not very effective. So let's see if we can't just lower your health a little bit. Okay, that was actually pretty good. They're gonna use Stone Edge. Once again, we're really not too worried. So just Blaze Kick again. Hopefully it doesn't take you out. He isn't even really kicking. <laughs> there we go, awesome. They can use Stone Edge. So, that actually is starting to stack up some damage. Let's throw out an Ultra Ball when you're so low on health. Hopefully this does something good. Come on now. I'll be really surprised if you jump out of this one. There it is, okay, so Lycanroc was caught. We probably have that version of it because there's three versions in total, but I am just happy to see. And we get level 29 for all three of these guys. So I'm checking right now for Lycanroc. Uh, so yeah, I think that we already have this version. There's a different version for, yeah, I guess that one's more orange for when it's like sunset. Uh, but yeah, level 29 for Drizzile, 29 for Wartortle, and 29 for Thwacky. Well, isn't that cool? So no nickname for you, but uh, hey, it's a very cool Pokemon. I don't ha mind having more than one. So we still gotta get down there. Okay. Lots of Pokemon around, but not too many that I haven't already seen. Well, you don't see Ponyard around here too much. Interesting. So let's see what this is. Before this, it still is. Okay, so it hasn't changed out yet. Interesting. Um, when it comes to defeating it, I mean, last time we tried it, it didn't turn out so well, so I might just leave it be for right now. Uh, but definitely, I think that Dot's our best candidate. There's an Ultra Ball. But yeah, it's a uh, Gigantamax Venusaur. Oh, now, now it's you. Interesting. So, yeah, where were some of the other Dynamax battles? We have actually quite a few over that way. So while I'm making my way over, it'll be great to check this cave specifically for more Max Mushrooms. I know there are different caves to look at as well, but this is also the one that led to uh, where we just were. So I just wanna double check real quick before we go over to more Dynamax battles. It's always our, worth our while, right? <laughs> just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Because they are pretty obvious to, to spot in a cave like this. They just don't spawn in, in this one too often. See, I'm not seeing it anywhere. So I think we're good for this one. And I would like to 
I think teleport over to the water tower. I think that's where most of those other Dynamax battles were. So let's try that out a little bit. And I was sort of right. We're at least closer to them, I think. So yeah, let's move our way over there and start taking them on. I'm not seeing anything new here. I will battle more soon, but I just want to sort of focus on getting the max mushrooms because we have plenty of time to get the... Do I have you? I have you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got a little confused for a moment. What is this one? Oh, it's Heracross. So, bug fighting. I will switch over, I think, to dot for this just so that we have that fire type advantage. I just don't want to risk it really, you know? My whole set of Pokemon here are like super disorganized. I need to work on this soon. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But for right now, here's Dot. Choose you. And I press the wrong button. And then I press the wrong button again. Whoops. <laughs> Why am I so clumsy today? <laughs> I don't know. But hopefully Zoror can handle it though. I mean, it's only a three star battle. I think we'll be fine. I don't think any of our moves are particularly, well, we have a fire type move, so maybe we're fine. Maybe we're fine. Um, I'm silly though, I'm sorry. But we've battled this uh, Dynamax Heracross a couple of times, actually. So I'm not expecting anything too crazy out of this one, but as long as I can get more max mushrooms, that's all I want. So super effective, max flare is gonna be good enough. I don't think we're starting at full health. I'm not really sure if it resets it or anything when we go into these battles. I don't think so. All right, Zorora, you can do it. Yeah, I would love to see other legendary Pokemon be added. I mean, I think that that's probably something we'll see more in the next DLC as well. I'm really trying to see if I can't complete the Pokedex before the, uh, the Tundra DLC comes out. I really think that we can. Chances are pretty high. I'm sure you're gonna be setting up your shield now, but the whole area becomes harsh. Yep, there's your shield. It's gonna be three points. Not too big of a surprise. So as long as they all attack, there's Slash. We might be able to get this done in two turns. There's Thunderbolt from Pikachu. And then finally, if there's Quillfish, yep, uses the move, Poison Jab. That's gonna break that shield. Then we can attack again and just get an easy, easy win. That's fantastic. Uh. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Not good. So that's Megahorn. Let's do Max Flare, just like that. Okay, we didn't even need to. <laughs> Never mind, we win. Awesome, so Heracross is weak. We are just gonna not catch you. And instead, get some easy rewards. Leech Life and Bug Buzz. Cool. So I think we might wanna go on one more Dynamax battle around here. Whoa, whoa, game is very laggy for a second. I wanna go for one more Dynamax battle. Oh gosh, right into a Tangela. Before we start really searching for more Max Mushrooms, we've already done like, what, three or four of them already today? So I can only imagine that a couple of Max Mushrooms would be around, right? But you never know. We'll do Blaze Kick, should get rid of you in one hit. You're just a grass type, so. Yep, there it is. Super effective, Tangle of Faints. And level 30 for all three of them. That's exciting, you wanna learn U-Turn. I don't think we want U-Turn. War Turtle level 30. Aqua Tail, now Aqua Tail maybe. 90 damage, so that would be better than Water Gun, for sure. So let's go ahead and do that. And then also Thwacky, grew to level 30. Slam. Now, Slam is not a, yes, this is a normal type move. Don't think we need it. I'd rather just have like similar typing attacks. I don't think anybody's evolving just yet. 295 watts. Why did I gain watts for winning that battle? Weird. I've never, has that ever happened before? I'm not sure. Okay, well, Either way, here's another Dynamax battle. Still no Max Mushrooms around here, but they have a few places they could potentially pop up, of course. Let's try this one out then. What is this gonna be? Oh, it's a little bug again. So don't invite others, we'll just use Aurora again. If we need to, we can use the uh, fire type move. Just trying to make the most of Aurora today, because I don't know how, how often we'll be using it in the future, of course. Oh boy. <laughs> the Whirlipede coming in. We already have Whirlipede. It's always interesting to see though. So let's try this out. 
Dynamax with the, uh, the flame kick, or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, the blaze kick, which will just be max flare now. I didn't see how many stars this was. I think it might be three stars, so yeah, we'll just see how this works out. Come on. Hopefully Zoror can handle this no problem. I wouldn't mind if it's another round like the last one just was. Okay, Max Flare going in right away. Oh, nice, almost half of its health. So now hopefully it'll set up a shield. We will uh, see the rest of the team break down that shield. So basically, yeah, the same song and dance as last time, but they do have an extra piece of shielding this time. So actually, might not work out so well. We'll have to wait and see. The Electro Ball was good. Waterfall coming in. Won't do too much damage, but breaks more of the shield. And then Giga Drain. Thank you guys for actually attacking. I appreciate that. Max Strike coming in this time. Ooh, and that's gonna get uh, Poliwhirl here. Venoshock. Ooh. Actually, not that big of a deal. Okay, fight. Max Flare one more time. Ooh, actually, thank you for breaking the shield. They attacked before me. And let's try this out. Oh, you're in trouble. Here it goes. Awesome. So, a Whirlpeed taken down here in the Dynamax Den, giving us some extra rewards. Gonna cancel out of this, do not catch. And there we go. So we get Toxic spikes, spikes and Sludge Wave. And there we go. So yeah, at this point, I'm going to look around a little bit for more Max Mushrooms, and hopefully we can find them. So while I was looking around for more Max Mushrooms, I did find a battle against Tauros, which we don't see that too often. Um, I do think that we should be able to handle it with Zorora because um, I think fighting is good against normal. Hopefully it's not the other way around. I'm pretty sure it's not the other way around. So, oh no, it's not Toro, it's Bouffalant, right? Yeah, Bouffalant. That's cool. Both are pretty similar, so we should be able to handle this no problem. All right, Zorora, you know what to do. And we'll just give this our best bat, our best shot. Fight. Yeah, super effective close combat. That's what we'll just do for right now. Hopefully it won't be too bad. We got some interesting Pokemon around us. We have, I think it was uh, Maractus and Heatmore and one other Pokemon I did not see. Yeah, I have not found any Max Mushrooms yet. I've not been so lucky with it, so if I have the chance, of course, to do another uh, Dynamax battle, I might as well take it, because I need three of them. I need three Max Mushrooms. I'm totally out of them right now, and I might start grinding between episodes, so if we don't find any in today's episode, that's fine, but like between episodes, I might keep. I won't do any Dynamax battles against Pokemon we haven't seen, of course, but if it is a Pokemon we have seen, then I will just go ahead and do it. That way we can get more Max Mushrooms. I can showcase those between episodes. That would be cool. But for right now, this might actually take some time to get through. It didn't do as much damage as I wanted to, so it must be a higher star one, like four or five. So they're using Solar Beam. Is that actually gonna do damage, though? No, and they use Max Strike. I'm not too worried about it. We should be able to win, especially if they attack me instead. That's much better. And you're gonna use counter. It did that work? No. And then swords dance. I guess that ups their attack. That's a bit of a problem, but once again, if they keep attacking me, we should be able to handle it no problem. Here's Max Knuckle. Boom, doing two pieces of damage to the shield. So as long as one of these guys can just attack, please. And there's also Wobbuffet. That was the other Pokemon. Throat Chop, oh my gosh. That was super effective as well. Fire Leash, there we go. I'm sure they're gonna have another piece of shield, but if we could just work our way over there, that'd be great. And Solar Beam. I don't know what Solar Beam's supposed to do, because apparently it's not an attack. And now Wobbuffet's using Amnesia, which ups his stats. What's the point of upping all your stats if you're not gonna attack that? So we'll see what ends up happening. Okay, fight, Max Knuckle, one more time. Let's go for it. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. Here we go. So we got you less than halfway through, throughout our Dynamaxing, so now we should just be able to fight our way through the rest of it. 
But I'm sure they're setting up a shield now. Which will make things a little bit more difficult. Especially now we're not doing the two pieces of damage. As long as my teammates can start attacking it, we should be fine. There's the Fire Lash from Heatmore. Now it's not so happy. That's gonna nullify all the stat changes. Oh wow, so there goes Heatmore. Not good. So we can only lose three more. Throat chop. Oh my gosh, not good, come on. They're using counter, counter doesn't seem to work. I'm pretty sure that Wubbuffet has not done an attack a single time. Which is just great. So fight. Once again, let's just do the super effective close combat. It's at least something. Sucker punch again, thank you. It'll do a little bit of damage, but we need the shield to be broken, like desperately. And what are they gonna do now? Nullify the stat changes again, then they're using max strike, hopefully against us so we don't lose. Okay, yeah, there we go. Whoa, whoa, that did way more than I was expecting. Was that a ground type move? Uh-oh, now we're in trouble. Okay, now that I got rid of the Maractus, we're actually in serious trouble here. Why is this so powerful? <laughs> Come on now. Storm is growing even stronger. Please just attack the Booflant for me. If any of these guys could just damage down the shield, I'd be fine. So this is one of those times where it's like unlucky because we just got people who just aren't doing anything worthwhile. But I'm just gonna fight. We're gonna use, I might just use Plasma Fist this time and see how this works out. Boom. And like it doesn't do much in terms of damage, but at least it breaks the shield. Okay, now if you guys could just please attack, uh, that's all we need to do. So Fire Lash, Fire Leash, whatever it was. Okay, Wub Effect, can I trust you to attack? You're gonna use Max Darkness against two, probably you. And that's what, the third Pokemon taken down? So if one more Pokemon gets taken down, we're done. Ah, oh, that's the worst, because we're almost done here. Come on. And they attack again. And they're gonna attack us. No, I was the one who lost it. I mean, it would have been fine, once again, if some of those Pokemon would have just attacked when they weren't attacking. So, whatever. I, I just, I don't think we'll do any more Dynamax spells today. I'll do more between episodes, but I feel like they're just sort of wasting our time right here. Uh, but I will continue to look for more Max Mushrooms. Even though we're not doing so lucky, there's only really one place left to check, and that is the um final one over here. So we'll do that. And then I think we might also uh, spend some of our watts, because we have a lot of them at this point. So I just, oh, here we go. Here's at least one Max Mushroom. There we go. <laughs> That's something, right? I'm happy about that. We're stuck. Oh, boy. So I need to find two more between episodes. I'll try to work on that then uh, for right now. Get a little bit more energy right there. And I am going to go back to the town map and go over here. Awesome. So yeah, this time around, we are just going to give her as much watts as we can, because I really don't need too many of them. We have plenty of wishing stones, and I can get more just through the game and exploring and stuff. So let's just talk to her. Hi. Uh, I'm here to share some watts. Um, yeah, we might just do 100,000. Well, actually, I might want to do a piece at a time, because last time it like, didn't work that way. Um, I don't know. So what's the next goal post, though? 90,000 watts so far, 10,000, and we'll get fresh cooking ingredients. So let's go ahead and just give her 10,000, like specifically whatever she needs for her next goal post. Because <clears throat> I feel like I gave her a lot before and it only gave me one thing either way. Um, See, so yeah, there we go. She's gonna get fresh fresh food delivered here. That's always cool. Uh, Dream Dairy. Is it possible to ask for regular delivery of your delicious products? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, nice, we got a fridge over here. We managed to pull off a swift new contract. Um, It took no time at all and it's sure to be a hit. We'll have fresh ingredients delivered to the dojo each day now, so feel free to take your pick. Within reason, of course, you silly sausage. Uh, what should I do next with all these watts? I wonder if people would like to get nutritious drinks from a vending machine, too. I wonder if eventually we'll get like some more useful things, like a healing station or something. I don't know. Um, well, hold on. Once again. How much is next? What's the next goal post? 100,000. Another 100,000. Wow, it gets so expensive. So... I guess I'll give her 100,000. That's crazy. 200,000 watts so far. Some healthier drinks to our lineup. 
are uh, healthier drinks really worth a hundred thousand watts? Um, have I reached the number one pharmacy? This is Honey from the Master Dojo. I was just thinking about how much I'd love to offer your supplement drinks here. Right, right, mm-hmm, naturally. So, I guess here, you can now buy your fill of protein and iron right here at the dojo. This is amazing. And since we bought so many, we got bulk pricing. Good for the body and the pocketbook. Well, for yours, not me. <laughs> I know it's not a, a the whole array of supplements yet, but it's still a huge step for us. Uh, with some more watts, I can expand the line, line up even further too. Um, so what's the next goal post? Obviously, I can't afford it. But if we spare us another 100,000, um, just even more supplements. Very interesting. See, it was a lot of fun checking out the shiny Zoroar, going in some Dynamax battles with it, and also being able to level up some of our other starters that I'll be able to level up more in some upcoming episodes and Gigantamax them. That'll be a lot of fun. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.